let's take a minute let's take a minute to pray for the fact that Cotopaxi decided to show itself I'm not gonna take it for granted I knew I knew it was a possibility that it would just be foggy or cloudy or rainy so thank you I am I feel blessed it's probably gonna be a cold night but I've already seen what I came here to see Cotopaxi is one of the world's highest active volcanoes, with a height of 5,897 meters, known for its frequent eruptions and stunning glacial cap. Since the 18th century, Cotopaxi has erupted more than 50 times. kilometers from from today's camp and I just realized something is broken and at first I thought it would not really impact my riding but I was wrong um can yours move a lot now and touch wheel which is not great because if it stops it uh, it's quite scary uh, fortunately I'm just five kilometers away from today's camp and then this will become a tomorrow problem um, thankfully I think it's super easy to fix I think you I think I just need to like forge it I don't know if that's the word in English but yeah, I'm happy it happened at the end of today. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to ride tomorrow, so I might have to hitch a ride to the next town and hopefully they'll have what I need or someone who knows how to do it. Um, yeah, well, shit happens. I think. I think for what it could be, it's not too bad. But then again, I always downplay everything. <laughs> no, but I think, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, I have no idea, but I think it's easy. We'll see tomorrow.
now we wait hoping that there's gonna be a car that can take me to the next town which is called Lasso and I'm hoping to find someone to forge I still don't know if that's the word soldar in Spanish um, and solve the issue the scary thing is that it stops my rear wheel so imagine I'm riding downhill because it's downhill now all the way to the town uh, imagine I'm riding downhill and it just stops the wheel I could really hurt myself so even though I'm quite sad to be missing the downhill that I think I deserve after the uphill uh, I did yesterday I think this is the sensible thing to do I'm having no luck so I think I'm gonna try and fix it temporarily and start cycling downhill and then yeah hope for the best what a funny what a funny image Let's see if some of these will do. Someone said to me once that they fix everything but a broken heart. I have no broken heart to fix, only a bike rack. So I think, I think this will do. Let's try. Made it to Lasso and it's now time to find someone who can help me repair this. I've been asking around, haven't found anyone yet, but let's keep I hope now. Hola. I think And just before the rain, I found an amazing place to set up my tent. My bike was still making some weird noises, so I spent a good chunk of my afternoon playing around with it and trying to see what was wrong. I'm starting the day a little bit later than expected just because I was invited to breakfast and then we were just chatting for a bit and at some point I just didn't want to leave but yeah, time to start heading towards Kilotoa it's probably gonna take me today so today and tomorrow um, but when people are that nice you just want to stay there but no, come on let's go Off we go to the dirt. This is honestly everything I asked for. Flat. Dirt, no 
rocks, cold enough to not sweat. It's just wonderful. So my initial plan was to cross Ecuador quite quick, small enough to just kind of be quick and make it to Peru because to be honest, I have, I want to make it to Patagonia by April and I don't know if that's possible, but money wise and also season wise, this is kind of my deadline, mostly money-wise, but it's impossible because the more you see, the less you feel like you've seen, you know? Like, my route doesn't go through Baños, which is kind of the gateway to the Ecuadorian Amazon forest. This is not, it's not in my route. But everyone's telling me I should go and now I'm excited, I want to see it, but it's impossible to choose, well, it's hard to choose what makes it into my itinerary and what doesn't. Well, I'm at the beach now. <laughs> And now it's downhill all the way to the end of today. So 3,960 3, meters. I thought it was 80, but maybe I'm just short. Instead of doing the downhill straight away, I think it's the perfect time and the perfect setting for lunch. Marina prepared this for me this morning. Frijoles with onion and some broccoli. Could not ask for more. And Grace gave me some bread.
So thank you. Mm. And after riding through what I think was one of the most beautiful days of my trip, I made it to the town where I would sleep and get myself ready for Quilotoa. I've honestly been more scared in Ecuador than anywhere else. But that's a story for the next video. I hope I'll see you there. <laughs>